calculations, this took me over 15,000 hours. I know, my entire life's work. I'm going to boil this down into a video that's going to take less than 10 minutes to watch. This is what is at stake for all y'all college students. There's a present and future FICO score that is at stake. Now, here I am moving you, the college student, along the bell curve in this direction, where ideally you want to get to the highest FICO score, well, the highest uh, area, which is at the 95th percentile, where your college student FICO score is actually going to eclipse and be greater than most traditional adults. And I will move you along this bell curve of your FICO score. This is quantity of students, this is time, this is the the right side of the bell curve. So everything's going to be, that I'm going to be talking about, is going to shift you to the right side of the bell curve for your college student FICO score. This is your problem. Many college students, if not most college students, have a FICO score that is not even established. And the reason for that is College students are sharing a social security number with their parent. If you have a credit card that your parent helped you get that is tied to their social security number, you have a mixed social security number file. So you're building credit every time you make a payment on time. You're building credit for your parents, not you. The way to solve this is you want to have a credit card in your own name, in your own social security number. Biggest mistake that college students make is they see a credit card with their name on it on the front, but on the back end, there's two social security numbers attached. You want to be paying a credit card with one social security number, your own social security number. Here's another problem, applying for credit. When you're applying to college, you might get rejected, and it hurts you. It hurts your ego a little bit maybe when you get turned out. When you're applying for credit and you get turned down, it does not help your FICO score at all. You land smack dab in the middle part of the bell curve when you're applying for credit and hoping to get credit. You solve this by building credit in your own name and that's a later slide. But when you're applying for credit and you don't know that you're gonna get credit, that's extremely dangerous. This is another problem, a charge off. A charge off is defined as credit code nine Nine is a charge off. A charge off is where a bank feels like they no longer have a chance at collecting the money that you owe them. So that is where you are in a horrible, horrible uh, credit situation. Your other solution, another solution, and these aren't uh, a la carte. These are solve all your credit problems with all of these solutions. This isn't an a la carte. This is a checklist where you need to do all of it. 24 ones in a row absolutely moves you to the right side of the bell curve. A one is defined as an on-time payment. A on-time payment is, there's no distinction between a $20 payment made on time or a $20,000 payment made on time. So long as a payment has been made on time. You want to do 24 payments on a time in a row. Also, a huge mistake that college students make is that they have a non-payment, an X, meaning they didn't owe anything on their credit report, and they didn't owe anything on their credit card, and they feel as if that's an on-time payment. You need to owe $20 and pay $20. Owing $0 and paying $0 is not an on-time payment. In that situation, if you forget to charge something in any given month, you can actually write a paper check for $20, pay it to your bank, and your bank will accept it. Your bank will not accept uh, electronic payments when your card balance is at zero. That's a little hack. It's huge. You want to get 24 on-time payments in a row. It's monotonous, it's dull, and the analogy is that you want to have... You want to be able to go to college with 24 A's to inflate your GPA. And by inflating your GPA, we all know of college students that have friends that are at a GPA of 4.2 out of 4. Those kids kind of made me mad. Okay, I was one of those kids. And that's where this whole idea of a bell curve of a FICO score came from, is that if you're mad at people that are getting great grades, 
Why get mad when you can easily pattern replicate what it is that they're doing? You don't even need to pattern iterate. You just pattern replicate what college students who have a FICA score of 750 are, are already doing. Another solution is to get credit before applying for credit. What I mean by that is two big areas that are opportunities. And these are all for US-based US based college students. Getting a parent's utility bill in your name and paying that bill on time, if you trust uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mom and Mr. Uh, Dad, if you trust your parents to pay on time their utility bill, you can actually get credit before applying for credit by getting the utility bill in your own name, getting that utility bill in your social security number because that's a form of credit. The other thing that you can do this with is also with your cell phone bill, your parents uh, family plan and that's another awesome way to build good credit. You can reach out to me down below.